Steve Friends, a former FBI whistleblower and senior fellow at the Center for Renewing America. So what does the FBI have on Biden or what does Joe Biden have on the FBI? Well, that remains to be seen. And hopefully uh, Congressman Comer will get uh, the information that he's seeking. That FD 1023 source reporting document. Uh, they have to determine first that uh, the whistleblower came forward with that information, uh, that that is uh, in fact true. And then they have to find out if there was, in fact, an investigation that followed it. And uh, if it were an investigation, that's called a sensitive investigative matter within the FBI, a SIM. And it would require multiple levels of approval up the chain of command, frontline supervisor, assistant special agent in charge, special agent in charge, all the way up into headquarters, section chiefs, unit chiefs, and eventually into the Department of Justice. So there's going to be a lot of folks who are involved in this. And uh, there needs to be questions of all of them if it was, in fact, deep sixed. So there'd be a massive paper trail if this thing was followed up on or if they deep six it, there's no paper trail, which is even more alarming. Exactly. And if it was essentially hidden in a source reporting document in order to avoid having to actually open a preliminary investigation, they've essentially classified it without giving it that designation and found sort of a hack around having to go through the normal approval processes and uh, compartmentalize and, and withhold that information from the authorities that are supposed to be approving that matter. When you would hear something this serious, a vice president sitting, taking money from a foreign national in exchange for American policy, that, that, I don't think that's ever happened ever in the history of this country. Do you recall anything like that? I certainly never encountered anything like that, uh, but I don't think you have to be too old to remember when, uh, in fact, we impeached a, a president over a quid pro quo, and that involved uh, information that uh, the, the left argued was going to be beneficial to his campaign. Certainly nothing r related to financially benefiting an individual. So this is an issue, uh, not, not just criminal, but national security as well. Um, this has everything. Uh, I think he'll probably get away with it, but we'll see. Maybe not this time. Thanks you very much. Thanks.